Class 7, Science Chapter 11 Transportation in Animals Animated Science Introduction In animals, the food absorbed by the intestine or gut has to be carried to all the body parts. Oxygen absorbed in the lungs has to be transported to every cell of the body. The carbon dioxide produced in the cells has to be carried to the lungs for elimination. And the poisonous body waste like urea have to be transported to the kidneys for excretion in urine. And so on. In the plants, that water has been conducted upward into the leaves. Likewise, the food produced in the leaves has to be transported to other parts of the plant, including the stem, the roots, flowers and fruits, etc. All such functions are carried by the transport system. In this chapter, let's learn about this amazing transport system in animals and plants. Circulatory System The circulatory system is responsible for transporting materials throughout the entire body. It transports nutrients, water and oxygen to your billions of body cells and carries away waste such as carbon dioxide that body cells produce. It is an amazing highway that travels through your entire body, connecting all your body cells. The circulatory system is divided into three major parts, heart, blood and blood vessels. Heart The heart is a muscular organ. It is about the size of your fist. The heart is located in the center of your chest, slightly to the left. Its job is to pump blood. The heart has four chambers. The two upper chambers are called atria or singular atrium. The two lower chambers are called ventricles. Oxygenated blood or blood containing oxygen from the lungs is received by the left atrium where it is passed into the left ventricle. The left ventricle then contracts and pumps the blood into the body. Deoxygenated blood or blood containing carbon dioxide is received by the right atrium from where it is passed on to the right ventricle. The right ventricle then contracts and pumps the blood into the lungs. Hence, the right side of the heart pumps deoxygenated blood or blood containing carbon dioxide to the lungs and the left side of the heart pumps the oxygenated blood that is blood containing oxygen from the lungs around the rest of the body. Valves between the atrium and ventricle allow the blood to flow in one direction only, that is, from the atrium to the ventricle. The septum separates the two sides of the heart, that is, the right side and the left side. Heartbeat the rhythmic expansion and contraction of the heart is called heartbeat. Stethoscope, instrument used to measure the heartbeat. Normal heartbeat, 60 to 80 per minute. Pulse, throbbing sensation on the wrist due to the flow of blood through our body. Blood, blood is a fluid that circulates throughout the body. It is made of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. Blood cells are manufactured in the bone marrow. Components of blood Plasma It is the fluid part of the blood. Various blood cells that is RBC, WBC, platelets, etc. float in the plasma. Red blood cells or RBC or erythrocytes. These contain a red colored pigment called Hemoglobin. The presence of hemoglobin makes blood appear red. The RBCs pick up oxygen in the lungs and transport it to all the body cells. After delivering the oxygen to the cells, it gathers up the carbon dioxide, a waste gas produced as our cells are working, and transports carbon dioxide back to the lungs, where it is removed from the body when we exhale or breathe out. There are about 50 lakh red blood cells in one drop of blood. White blood cells or WBC. White blood cells attack and destroy germs when they enter the body. Platelets. 
Platelets are blood cells that help stop bleeding by forming a clot at the place of the wound. Functions of blood It carries nutrients, oxygen and water to all the cells of the body. It removes carbon dioxide and waste materials from the cells. It protects the body from infections. It keeps the body at uniform temperature. Blood vessels The blood vessels are thin tubes that carry blood from the heart to all the parts of the body and then return the blood back to the heart. Types of blood vessels Arteries, veins and capillaries Arteries Arteries carry blood rich in oxygen from the heart to all the body parts. They appear red due to the oxygenated blood. Their walls are thick and elastic to resist the high pressure of the flowing blood. Veins Veins carry carbon dioxide rich blood from all parts of the body to the heart. Their walls are thin. They have walls which allow the blood to flow only towards the heart. Capillaries Capillaries are extremely thin and tiny blood vessels. They connect arteries to veins. Food substances or nutrients, oxygen and waste pass in and out of your blood through the capillary walls. Excretory System Our body takes nutrients from food and uses them to maintain all bodily functions including energy and self-repair. After the body has taken what it needs from the food, waste products are left behind in the blood and in the bowel. The kidneys are bean-shaped organs about the size of your fists. They are near the middle of the back, just below the rib cage. The waste in the blood is removed by the blood capillaries in the kidneys. When the blood reaches the two kidneys, it contains both useful and harmful substances. The useful substances are absorbed back into the blood. The waste dissolved in water are removed as urine. From the kidneys, urine travels down two thin tubes called ureters to the bladder. The ureters are about 8 to 10 inches long. Muscles in the ureter walls constantly tighten and relax to force urine downward away from the kidneys. The urine is then passed out through the urinary opening at the end of the muscular tube called the urethra. The urinary system removes a type of waste called urea from your blood. An adult human passes 1 to 1.8 liters of urine in a day. The urine contains 95% water, 2.5% urea and 2.5% other wastes. The major excretory product in humans is urea. The major excretory product in aquatic animals like fishes is ammonia, which directly dissolves in water. The major excretory product in land animals like birds, lizards and snakes is uric acid. Transport of substances in the plants. Transport of food and other substances in plants. The vascular tissue in the transport system in plants allows for the passage of the materials necessary for a plant to live. Plants have pipe-like vessels to transport water and nutrients from the soil and food from the leaves to all the parts of the plant. These vessels are made up of cells which form the vascular tissue. There are two types of vascular tissues that aid in the transport Xylem transports water and dissolved minerals from the roots to all the parts of the plants. Phloem transports sugar or food from the leaves to all the parts of the plant. Transpiration Plants absorb much more water through their leaves than what is required for performing activities like photosynthesis. The excess of water is lost by the plants in the form of water vapor into the air around. This loss of water from the body of plants in the form of water vapor is called transpiration. Transpiration in plants mainly takes place through tiny holes called stomata which are present on the leaf surface.